then. Here comes the Scottish Supernova. An accomplished superstar who has made his name in NXT and WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds. Noam Dar prides himself on maintaining a veteran mindset because of that vast international experience. Come on, let's go! Noam Dar began competing at the age of 15 and made his WWE debut at 22. A young veteran, this Scottish Supernova. Yeah, Dar has already done so much in NXT and WWE, but I think his future is even brighter. Here comes Prime Alexander. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Obviously, this man's grown cocky. He doesn't respect the locker room veterans. But Cedric Alexander does possess the skills to back up the aforementioned cockiness. Cedric Alexander, former Cruiserweight champion, former Raw Tag Team champion. But listen, he's got a bright future. You know, guys, I like this new attitude of Cedric Alexander. He really seems to be having fun in the ring now, and it's been paying off for him. Yeah, Cedric might be the personification of persistence versatile superstars in the locker room. He's certainly living his best life now and making the most of every opportunity. Yeah, Byron, and that might have Alexander going up to the next level sooner rather than later. And then there is Noam Dar, who has accomplished so much at such a young age. Dar is burning bright like a Scottish supernova, and the opposition is about to get scorched. Well, good. See what I did there, Saxton. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh! Solid kick across the back. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Cedric calls himself Prime Alexander, Corey, and the name is well earned. What's the ideal game plan for his opponent? Cedric really can do it all, and at times, it seems like his worst enemy is himself. If you let him get overconfident, odds are you'll be able to bait him into a misstep. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Scouted. Oh, vicious knee to the face. Uh, 
Dar into a rough landing. Alexander firing up, trying to get something kinetic going. take to keep this guy down. He's caught all that with his face, and now the door's opened up. Oh. Ouch. Dar's being carefully measured now. Cedric Allen's oh. And he saw that coming from Cedric. Oh. Pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out. It does it. <laughs> Cedric looking to end this. Picked up and driven down into a brain buster. Into the cover. Oh. He's able to beat a two count. All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match. Unbelievable standing Spanish fly. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Perched up top. And no double sidesteps. Bam! Down he goes. Just pinning the arm down and then driving a knee into the arm. Oh, that can break an arm. And he gets set back into the ring. Dar wants to fly. From the top. Put her in a position now. these guys in action.
Get ready for some high-flying antics. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 180 pounds, Reggie. Had the longest 24-7 title reign in history at 112 days. You and Graves didn't even hold it for 112 seconds. That's up for debate. Reggie's so excited to compete tonight. He's just happy to not be chased for the 24-7 title for one night. The bruiser of the Brawling Brutes. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. Bush! I'll tell you, you never quite know exactly what you're getting with this guy. Now, he's a very different competitor than he was in NXT, that's for sure. But fun to watch, nonetheless. Butch ain't wrapped right, okay? He's not quite all there. Yeah, but that's what makes him so dangerous. Butch in the ring and ready to get this fight started. That's exactly what it's gonna be, Cole, a fight. Butch doesn't concern himself with the destination. He's focused on the journey. And his idea of a journey is one that inflicts pain and suffering. I thought his brutal brethren were unhinged and violent until they introduced us to Butch. I would liken Butch to an animal, Corey, but I don't think animals fight with the hollow vitriol that Butch does. Well, let's see if he can solve the very unorthodox offense of Reggie on the other side. I never know what this guy's gonna do next. Every time you write him off, he finds a way to stick around. I used to think he was annoying, but now I, I gotta be honest, the kids impressed me. Butch loves to just attack his opponents at full speed, but the key to victory can't be that simple, can it? Butch used to be extremely deliberate in his strategy, Cole, but now he throws himself full force at his opponent. But that old methodical style is still dormant within Butch, so he should use it. Ah, face first off the post. not about the ref's count, Cole. That'll stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. Oh, got the knees up. Could be a big turnaround here. Big four. There's a special one, but I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things team for team, Corey. Taking a moment to see if the fans will show some love. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Ooh, clothesline delivered. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, I can't. I, it's absolutely nuts. Look at this. Clutching the wrist. Oh, my God. Torturing their opponent. Just mangling the opposition. Oh, ow. And knee to the back. What on a 
unadulterated violence behind that move from Butch. Butch looking for Will that keep Reggie grounded? Cover two. An emphatic victory. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Here is your winner, Butch! What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. The stunning Mansoir. The handsome Marseille. The maximum male models. We are in the presence of fashion greatness. Oh, brother. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Marseille, representing maximum male models from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Man Swar. I had a tryout to be a maximum male model. They said they'd call me back. There's a better chance of me calling you back, and that'll never happen. Yeah, Michael, I think your phone is broken. It's always going straight to voicemail. Because I send it there. No more time for posing. Now they have to actually fight. Well, Mustafa Ali promises you will not forget his name. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Once consumed with retribution, he has now returned to the light. And Corey, he is now more motivated than ever. Ali may be abrasive, but one of the most highly intelligent competitors in all of WWE. Certainly a superstar that thinks the world of his looks. Mansoir looking to prove he's not just a pretty face. Possibly one of the biggest superstars the modeling world has ever seen. It's hard to avoid the enchanting eyes of Mansoir. I don't know if that's quite the case, Corey, but we'll have to see. And with Mustafa Ali, he's just the kind of guy who's all about determination when the bell rings. You might beat him, 
but you are not going to do so without putting in one heck of a fight. I do think Ali would prefer not to be beaten, though, Saxton. His persistence needs to result in more than just a good fight. close to ending it all yeah. there. He's able to stop Ali. Elbow smash! Corey, I'm curious, is there any hole in Mustafa Ali's game that you could see being exploited in this one? Well, there aren't many holes in Ali's game, Corey. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He breaks the ref's count before two. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Come on. Get to the suplex. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Up high. Through the air. And connects. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Oh, what height. The light is fading for Mustafa Ali. And hats off to him. He's keeping Ali grounded, preventing him from picking up speed or flying. Really taking him off his game. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
effective arm drag. Oh, no! The love crunches in. The beginning of the end. Ali's got something to prove, but he may lose. Needs to get out of the ankle lock and does so. And look at the face of Mansoir. It's now slightly less beautiful. Vicious right forearm. Mansoir out of harm's way. trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Underhook suplex. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And Ali avoids the attack, catching a drop kick. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. And he goes into the ring. And he's taking this to the outside now. whip. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Sky high. Dummy leg drop from way up high. As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? Ali locking it in. Oh no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, but can he roll on his... A win tonight. Man, tap out. your winner tonight. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Mustafa Ali. That was a difficult win, but it was a big win in the record books. Ali went hard tonight, and he came away with an impressive victory.